The announcement came as Meghan, 37, and Prince Harry, 34, arrived in Sydney on Monday ahead of a 16-day tour of Australia and New Zealand. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry announced they were expecting their first child on October 15, 2018. At the time, it was believed Meghan was around 12 weeks pregnant, with Kensington Palace saying the new bundle of joy is expected in the spring. Will the royal baby be born on Queen's birthday? A Kensington Palace statement at the time of the announcement said, Their Royal Highnesses the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are very pleased to announce that the Duchess of Sussex is expecting a baby in the spring of 2019. Their Royal Highnesses have appreciated all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share this happy news with the public but while the statement says the baby is due in the spring, an exact due date has not been announced. The Queen celebrates two birthdays a year, with her actual birthday falling on April 21 while her official public celebrations fall on the second Saturday of June. Ladbrokes had given odds of 101 for Meghan to give birth on the Queen's actual birthday. Last year, a flurry of punters put money on Kate and Prince William's third child Prince Louis being born on the Queen's birthday. But little Louis instead arrived two days later, on April 23rd, just a week before his big sister Princess Charlotte's third birthday. Why does the Queen celebrate two birthdays? The double birthday tradition was first started by King George II in 1748. He liked having huge celebrations to mark the big day, but his birthday was in November and he felt it was too cold to have a public celebration that month. As a result, he decided to celebrate his birthday on the same day as an annual military parade called Trooping the Color in the Summer, so the weather would be nicer. This tradition stuck and has been kept up by every monarch since. What does the Queen do on her birthday? The Queen usually spends her real birthday with her family. But gun salutes go off in Hyde Park and Windsor Great Park at midday so people do not forget the special day. Later in the year on the official birthday, Trooping the Colour takes place with more than 1,400 soldiers, 200 horses and 400 musicians. Crowds gather to wave flags and wear Union Jacks outside Buckingham Palace, before a parade takes from the Mall to Horse Guards Parade at Whitehall, near Downing Street and then back to the Palace. The Royals then watch rough planes perform an aerial display on a palace balcony. Last year, Meghan and Harry stood on the balcony together for the first time as man and wife, 